Hi, my name is Diamond. Um, I am a student at the University of Cincinnati, and today is National Coming Out Day. Well, tomorrow. Um, so I'm here to tell my story. What I would like you all to know is basically where coming out was an issue for me. Um, it was a big issue when I started to realize who I was and the feelings that I had for, you know, people that were of the same sex. And I grew up in a Christian household, so it was, it wasn't like talked of, like my, my family, as far as I know, didn't look down on people like that. But, you know, being in Christianity, you know that it's tough, like, to be LGBTQ because it is looked down upon in some churches. But um, that was like mainly going through middle school. I was realizing these feelings and I, I was a little nervous about it. You know, like I, you know, like everybody else, I wish I didn't feel this way. I wish this wasn't me, you know. I wish I liked guys, da, 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 whatever. You know, I denied it to myself just as much. Um, that's about around the time that my brother and my sister started asking me and I was like, no, 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 no. And that's partially because I didn't accept it myself. Um, that kind of went on until like my ninth grade year of me denying it, denying it, denying it. And I had finally came out to my cousin, um, which was a big supportive help because she supported me and everything I did and told me it was cool, you know. She even talked to me about you know, girls and stuff like that. She was just my support system. So I felt comforted by somebody that I was close to because they let me know that, you know, it is what it is. You, you're not good. Like, I'm not going to look down upon you because of who you decide to love. Um, that gave me the courage to walk the border with my brother. He's, like, out of my siblings, my mom, my dad. He's probably the closest person I am to. And... Like him, I just felt bad for lying to him for some reason. That's just how I felt. And like just around the time that I told him, I was really liking this girl. <laughs> it's always a girl, right? <laughs> I was really, really liking her. And, you know, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but I was... I didn't care when I met her. Like, I didn't care if I got caught. I didn't care. I was at the point where I would hope somebody would kind of just walk in like, whoa, what's going on? But my brother finally did ask me, and I took that as a perfect opportunity. Okay, I like this girl, and I have nobody to talk to about it. So, yeah, I told him, and he was like, well, I knew you were. Like, you just kept telling me no, and I didn't understand. Da, da, da. And it took him a while to get used to it, but he eventually adapted to it. And we've been even closer ever since then. Like, I love my brother to death because he helped me realize that I wasn't going to be shunned by everybody I loved. He also helped me help encourage me to tell my mom, which my mom's like a uh, kind of like hippie, loves everybody, peace, love, and soul type person. So I was never worried about telling her. But when I finally told her, she was just kind of like, I kind of figured you and that girl was just a little too close when I met. So I kind of like, I was like, oh, I'm just telling them myself, you know, without telling them myself. So that was, that was good. Like I needed that reassurance that even if everybody else in my family rejected me for it, that I wouldn't be rejected by the people that I care about the most. Um, one person I was really worried about, though, was my sister. Like, I was terrified to tell her. I just had this just this image that she was going to hate me for who I was and stuff like that, or she was going to try and fix me and stuff like that. Like, I didn't really, like, I couldn't grasp how she would react to it, so it made me not want to tell her even more. And I finally get to college, and I felt like I was a safe distance away, and... My brother kept bothering me about it, like, are you ever going to tell her? Like, she always asked questions. She would make assumptions. She would just say things that, you know, I could have said something about it, but I never did because I was always too scared. And I finally, like, just said, you know what? I'm here and she's there. If she feels some type of way about it. There's nothing that she can do to hurt me but say some words. And eventually, you know, we'll both get over it. But when I told her, probably wasn't the best way to tell her in a text message. <laughs> 
when I did tell her, like, after she got mad at me for texting it to her or not calling her or at least saying it to her face, she was like, I don't understand why it was so hard for you to tell me. And I'm just like, I don't know what it was. I think it was because you're my only sister and I'm your only little sister, you know, that I, like you had expe expectations of me that I could no longer fulfill that made me kind of iffy about telling you how you would perceive me. And she was like, I will love you no matter what, you know, you're my little sister. And that just made me feel like, oh, you know, all sad and like, oh, I feel so bad for not telling you now because like, you know, and like me and my sister have become even closer than that. Like, she's always like helping me out, asking me questions. Like, she's been the most proactive about getting to learn more about me, my lifestyle, if that's what you would like to call it, and just help me with understanding things and even she's been trying to give me a date <laughs> so like that that helped me out a lot like once I got past my sister everybody else was a non-factor I didn't care about anybody else I still don't to this day um but I had got to the point where it's just like if you ask me I'll tell you it's not a secret to me like if you don't already know then you must really be blind so <laughs> so I just like I've accepted, like, coming out to those people that are important to me has made me accept the fact that, you know, everybody's not going to love you for who you are, but when it really matters, you know, I have a, a firm foundation for, you know, if I ever do get rejected by anybody else in my family, which I'm not so worried about because if you reject me, that, that shows me that you never really cared in the first place, you know. So it was just helpful having that, like, having that reassurance and support from my brother, my sister, and my mom. Um, I mean, I guess I haven't told my dad, but I don't really talk to my dad, so it's not an issue. And then I have like aunts and uncles who I'm pretty sure they know, but they never ask me, so it's not like, you know, I gotta put myself out there. But I don't really care if they know. I don't, you know, like it's not like I walk around giving a seat, oh, no, no, I'm not, you know? It's just like, no, you never ask, so I'm not gonna tell you, you know? like. A couple of my cousins know I was, you know, they was like, oh, okay. You know, <laughs> like, I've, I haven't run into any issues with coming out. Like, I've heard, like, the horror stories and stuff like that. I was lucky enough to not run into that. But, you know, you never know. There's still more people that don't know, that may be shocked, that, you know, may react differently. But at this point, I don't care. And... I feel like as long for anybody coming out, as long as you adapt that mindset that you have people that love you and you tell them and they show that they love you, anybody else is unimportant.